What up, you guys? We just uploaded the manatee video, and my boy William Kimball's holding the camera. We're getting ready to go out and slay some snappers. I just want to show you all how I bought them fish. I've got a couple little tips, little tricks, and uh, this is how we do it. It probably would work for a lot of different fish, but today we're gonna go try to catch a cobia, mangrove snapper, mutton snapper, yellowtail snapper, maybe a grouper, but it's not grouper season yet. But uh, this is it, this is our canal. We live right back there. And uh, this is our bucket, this is our boat. They call it the gut bucket because it gets dirty. We don't care. We just like having a good time and catching fish. As my boy William says, throw and go. Keep a smile on your face and catch fish. We're out. We are bottom fishing. We're anchored up. Jupiter's about three miles that away. And we're in 75 feet of water. We're gonna be using a three-way rig, which means the line's gonna go from my rod, down to a swivel, back about 70 feet, and then there'll be a dropper to the leg. I know that sounds weird to you, but whatever. So to get the fish in the mood to eat, I've got this little contraption right here. I made it, it's whatever. It's a piece of PVC with the top. It's got a bunch of holes in it and then a heavy lead. So I'll throw some bait in there. Little pieces of what we will be using for bait. That's mullet and sardine. And then as fast as possible, just let it just run right down. When it stops, the water will flow through, all the chum goes out, and we're gonna start attracting fish. Now let's fish, boys. Folks, it's gonna be a good day. I figured we'd see how long it would take to get a bite. Well, it's only taken like three minutes. See what I got. I think it's a mutt snapper. Little mutton. He's not big enough. But it is a mutton snapper. Beautiful, would be great to eat, but all our laws here in Florida, they gotta be at least 16 inches. Now, let me show you guys real quick what I was talking about, the uh, three-way. Okay, so line comes down, that's a three-way swivel. There, dropper down to my lead. And then this, about 70 feet of 30-pound leader back to my hook. And I'm using a circle hook that I've got snelled just like that. Who knows? Hopefully we can show you all some real nice fish. Then we're gonna go back, fillet them up, and make some kind of epic dish. William Kimball! Sing us a song, man! That's a fish on the line. I'm afraid I'm gonna make him, man. <laughs> oh, no, that's a nice fish. Yeah. Nice fish. That fish ain't coming back down to no rocks. He's coming home. Yeah. I think moving the boat was definitely a call. This is not playing. He ain't taking me off this one. Put it in your, put your go, hand me this. Goes right there. Yeah. There you go. Now just make sure he doesn't go. Make sure he doesn't get under so back like there. Come on. Oh, nice mutton snapper. Bring him to the house. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. There she is. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, nice one. Look how pretty they are. They are. You like fresh fish? There it is. Taking her home. You, are you, like, big into organic, fresh, natural? Yeah, pretty much everything organic, you know. I like to uh, get fresh fish, that's why I'm here. So I'm stoked to be out with Robert fishing today. And it's always good to catch up, it's been a long time. And uh, I think the best thing in life is living it and throw and go. Just do your thing. 
<laughs> yeah, throw out a bait and go, go back man. fishing. That's it. <laughs> Alright, what's your call, Robert? What do you think? Give me just a second. Kinda of feels like a nurse shark. Really? Oh boy. Could be a cobia. Nice fish, whatever it is. Come on. Could be a really, really big cobia. He's not, he's not putting enough head shake and whatnot. Here's my leader, so. I'm going with Nurse Shark. There's my three-way coming up right here. Get him up here and show you all what a nurse shark looks like. There he is. Come here, buddy. Oh, I just broke off right there. Well, that's that. Now let's put another bait out and see if we can't catch another fish. I wasn't gonna eat him anyway. So I am a, I, we just got him from fishing and I just went and took a shower. And I need some Everglades rub. That's our Everglades rub. It's so good. Take our fish. We're just going to throw it right in this grill pan. You want to have it nice and hot so you sear that fish. Making the sauce, first thing I want to do is I'm gonna add just a little bit of a little bit of mushroom. Light butter. Yeah. A little bit of light butter. Now I'm gonna take some basil. Couple leaves, about that many. If I had a chef's knife, this would work a lot better, but right now I'm just using my fillet knife. Just a little bit, throw my shrimp in there. Let that start cooking. Add a little bit more Everglades. We'll be done now with that. Flour and orange juice. Okay, now put some 
orange juice. That's the uh, Indian River Select. Best orange juice in the world. Let that start boiling. Now I'm gonna add a little cream. I love cream in my sauce. It just gives it a nice rich flavor. Mmm, this is gonna be so good. Okay, so our sauce is at a full boil right now. Lovely. This is our roux, flour, and orange juice. Just thicken this. A little more. Now that's gonna start thickening. The hotter it gets, the thicker it'll get. Take it off. That's gonna be absolutely marvelous. Green beans. You saw how hard they were to cook. Open the can, eat them up. Nice piece of fish. Just some of the love. We call that the love potion. Mm. Mushrooms, shrimp. Reduced orange juice. Ooh, that good. <laughs> yeah. Dear Lord, thank you for this day and thank you for this food. Thank you for a wonderful day of fishing. Lord, I pray that you nourish this food to our body and keep us safe. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Alright, now. That's such a fantastic combination of flavors I can't express to you. Kind of a bit of everything. Mm. Yeah, you hit the jackpot on that one. Oh. Mm. Very, 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 very good. Very flavorful. Many different flavors popping in your mouth. Very good. There she is over there, chowing down. But it was a great day fishing. It was uh, pretty amazing and ended off with a great meal. Thanks for hanging out. I know it was a long video, but uh, hope it was worth it. We're out.